I'm Nick Pettit. I'm Jason Seifer. And you're watching The Treehouse Show, your weekly dose of internets where we talk about all things web design, web development, and more. For a free month's trial of Treehouse, join Nick and I over at teamtreehouse.com slash show. In this episode of The Treehouse Show, we'll be talking about SVG patterns for backgrounds, Breach, a new web browser, Fast Shell, and more. Let's check it out. First up is Pattern Bolt. Now, that was my nickname in high school. If you ever wanted to apply a pattern background to your website, this is a great way to do it. That is not why that was my nickname. It says Pattern Bolt is a fine selection, unlike Jason, of SVG <laughs> pattern background packed in a single CSS or SCSS file. So you can download the demo or look at the GitHub repo, but that's boring. Let's play with this thing here. Yeah, look at that. Buttons. You, you can select a pattern. So you can click on any one of these here, and then you can change the size of that pattern. So you can increase the size there, or you could make it really, really small. Is really, this a really, website really or an art shop that's being generated by magic? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? And then you can select a color here, and it will bring up this nice little color picker. Whoa, look at that. Am I on vacation right now? Pretty. From reality? Nifty. I really like it. You can also put SVG patterns over a random picture. So just any picture at all that you like, you can have that picture as the, the picture on your website. But then you can put a specific SVG pattern over it. So that's a really nice feature. Anyway, this is a really cool project. Definitely be sure to check this one out. Adding a nice pattern background to your website is a nice way to spruce things up. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have a project called DOM Flags. This is a project that lets you assign a keyboard shortcut to different DOM elements that will pull up automatically when you open the dev tools. Let's go ahead and check that out. You can see there's a great description right there. Create keyboard shortcuts to DOM elements. So if we go ahead and look at the demo, first you install the Chrome extension, then you get this little DOM flags panel and the elements that you can make a shortcut to. So if we click on that, we can see by just adding this DOM flag attribute, we create a shortcut to it. And then in the demo, you can toggle this different flag and the attribute by clicking around. So once you do all this, why in the world would you want to do something like that? Well, this would be really, really useful when you are developing a site and you want to check the different styling. Let's say you have to keep reloading a page to style a certain element. Let's go ahead and watch how fast DOM elements can be styled using this demo. By the way, I really like this UI pattern of hovering over an image to see an animated GIF of what is going on with the functionality. So uh, it's very, very easy to use. You just add the DOM flag attribute to any element. And then once you open up the dev tools, this will automatically open. You can set it to automatically go to the first element with a DOM flag attribute, or you can use this key combination right here to inspect a flagged element. Now there are a couple more options, but we're not going to go over them here. Instead, you can check it out in the show notes at youtube.com slash go treehouse or search for us in iTunes or the Treehouse Show. And make sure to check us out for 30 days free at teamtreehouse.com slash show. That's Really, really cool. I, I can remember numerous times where I was trying to navigate the DOM tree and find a specific element I was trying to target and work on. Yeah, right click, inspect, inspect element. And I just bye kept, bye years of my life. Just kept losing it over and over again. So that's that's super cool. Well, I next can sympathize up, with losing it over and over again. Next up is a new browser called Breach. It's a browser for the HTML5 era and it's written entirely in JavaScript. It's free, modular, hackable. Well, what does that mean? Modular means that everything in the browser is a module, and it's basically a web app running in its own process. So you can construct your own browsing experience. It's open source, and that also means that it's hackable. So if you want vertical tabs or some other UI pattern, you can write that yourself in JavaScript and CSS. If you want a customized autocomplete engine, I do. You can rewrite it yourself. Don't in want it JavaScript. that badly. <laughs> it's uh, 
pretty cool and it's kind of a newer concept. I haven't really seen this before, but there's this technology stack of HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and then there's Chromium, so you know that it is secure and performant, and then there's Node.js. But anyway, you can download it right now and start hacking it yourself to see how it works. Very cool stuff. Yeah, I think we should make a module that only lets you load the Treehouse show. That's a good idea. Just open a new tab, yeah. try to type in a web address, and it goes show. to Treehouse show. Every time. Yeah, most popular module ever. That's a good idea. Next up, we have a project called Fast Shell. This is an opinionated set of components to build websites. So this is build as a fiercely quick front end boilerplate workflow. What is included? Well, it's got the HTML5 boilerplate. It's got SAS and object oriented CSS. Or oof. It's also got gulp.js for compiling and concatenating your JavaScript files. And it also will connect to a local server to do live file reloads in action. So uh, what is included? Well, you get HTML5 framework, the ARIA roles for web apps, and different HTML5 uh, semantics. There is just a ton of stuff in here. It includes Modernizer and the HTML5 shiv. And of course, it runs on gulp.js, which we have talked about previously on the Treehouse Show. Anyway, this is a really great start, which is why it is a boilerplate for creating websites, but it really takes a lot out of doing it yourself. So go ahead and check that out next time you're trying to build a website. Very nice. Well, next up over on the Coding Horror blog about programming and human factors. It's a really cool blog. Definitely be sure to check it out. There's a post called the Just-in-Time Theory of User Behavior. And Basically, it says that the path of least resistance is a path that most users will take. So encouraging the right things by making those things intentionally easy to do is a good thing. And you can discourage the wrong things by making those things intentionally difficult. Or you can do the opposite with dark user patterns like we've talked about on previous shows. That's right. You, you could. So, you know, let your, let your conscience be your guide here. Jiminy, that's a great, great idea. But uh, basically, it says that users will take the path of least resistance. So if you throw a big manual up front, they're not going to read it. And actually, I thought this was interesting. It says the bad news about this is that Clippy, the paperclip, was right. So what, uh, what does that mean? Well, basically, the just-in-time pattern is saying that you should deliver information right when the user should need it. So in this example, the user is typing up a comment and it's basically giving instruction about that particular action that they're taking right as they're taking it. So instead of having to read a whole bunch of stuff and learn how something works, you can just start using it and learn as you go. I think this is a really good idea and really solidifies a lot of ideas I've had myself, but it articulates them really, really well. Yeah, a little bit of an expansion on the whole blank slate pattern. Yes, yes, definitely useful in the blank slate. Well, that's about all we have time for today. Nick, who are you on Twitter? I am at NickRP. And I am at Jay Cipher. For more information on anything we talked about, check out our show notes at youtube.com slash go treehouse. You can also search for us on iTunes. We are The Treehouse Show. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this one about web design, web development, mobile business, and so much more, be sure to sign up for a free 30-day trial at teamtreehouse.com show. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week.